Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching me from. This is Kafoko Kudia, and I'm back again on your screen to discuss with you on how to get an official immigration consultant in Canada. All right. Do you know that you can always get in touch with an official immigration consultant who works here in Canada from anywhere? In the world all right it doesn't depend on whether you are in canada or you are out of canada all right if you are outside canada you can always get in touch with them and then they can handle all your immigration issues all right if you are tired of hand of dealing with the so-called agents in your home country where they don't give you timely updates they don't um they don't um manage your best interest when it comes to applying to some of the um, visas and some of the immigration issues that has to do with canada this is the right video for you to watch all right so stay tuned and i'll share with you on how to get in touch with thousands of immigration consultants certified who works here in canada and who represents people's best interest all right so just stay tuned and i'll start in a moment All right, so let's go straight to the internet and then I'm going to show you how to get in touch with um, certified immigration lawyers or immigration consultants who practice here in Canada. All right, so if you have just a smartphone or you have an internet that is connected to a laptop, you can go to the web page and then let me share my screen. Right, so this is the web page that we are going to focus on today. Anything that you need about immigration and everything, the best website or the best place for you to go is um, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada web page that we normally call IRCC. All right, they have everything that you need when it comes to immigration issues. All right, so if you have um, your phone that is connected to the internet or you have your laptop that is um, connected to the internet, just type in RCC and then you go to their main official web page. All right, so when you click on it, it will send you to their main official web page. And then on this search bar right here, you just click on list of immigration consultants all right list of immigration consultant and then when you click on list of immigration consultants it is going to bring you to how to choose an immigration or citizenship representative all right so that is where it is going to bring you to and on this page it tells you all the law societies or the immigration consultants that have been satisfied in good standing who can represent your interest all right so let's go through this information and then we'll take it one after the other so if you look at this place it says that you can check if a person is licensed to represent Im immigrants or to give advice all right so we have citizenship or immigration consultants must be a member of the college of immigration and citizenship consultant all right they will always have to be a member in good standing with this college and then we have lawyers or notaries must be a member of canadian provincial or territory law society or the chamber those uh notarized to quebec all right and then the last one is um for Ontario only, they must be members of the Law Society of Ontario. If these are not members in good standing, you should not use their services. All right. So you see this caveat. It says that if this, if they are not members in good standing, you should not use them. All right. So even if they um, belongs to these societies or these associations, if they are not in good standing, you should not use them. All right. 
So uh, when you come further down, you see the law societies in each province and territories. All right. So if you are going to a particular province and you need a consultant or a lawyer in that particular province, you can just click on any of these provinces and then it will give you a list of law societies in that province all right so if you are going to british columbia you click on this one it will give you all the list of lawyers in good standing or lawyers that are not in good standing in british columbia that practice in british columbia if you are also looking to go to alberta this is the um, link you have to click on all right so we will first go with the immigration consultant list and then you see how it is so i'm going to click on this one and it will take us straight to the college of immigration and citizenship consultant all right so you click on english if you are a french speaking person you click on french but i'm going to use english for now so find an immigration consultant, all right? So check the public register to verify a Canadian immigration consultant status as a licensee of the college, all right? So if you are dealing with someone who says, oh, I'm an immigration consultant and I'm in Canada and stuff like that, this is the right place for you to come and then check whether that person is truly an immigration consultant. And if he is, is he or she in um, a good standing, all right? So you always have the resources to check whether people are in good standing or not. So if you know his or her last name, you input his or her last name here. If you know his first name, you input his first name here. And if you know um, his RCIC number, you input it here. And then if he's working for a company, you put a company here and then you click on search. All right. It will bring out all the information about that particular person and then you have all the the uh, meaning of all the things that they use so when you see active it means that licensee is good standing is in good standing with the college or tries to provide immigration services to clients all right and then active practice restricted all right LNCC, who has had um, their practice restricted as part of an interim order or disciplinary function made by the district all right so all these things gives you a fair idea of what it means whenever you pull that person's information all right so this is the website in checking if someone is an authorized person but again if you don't know the person's name if you don't have anybody in mind you can always click here in order to just pick any name in good standing and then you can contact that immigration consultant all right so find a regulated international student immigration advisor if you're an international student you can click on this link in order to find an, um, an advisor to advise you on whatever information that you need and then um, the second one is find a regulated Canadian immigration consultant who is able to represent clients before the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada. So we're going to click here to see if it is going to give us a list of names that we can get in touch with in order to, you know, um, engage the person with whatever information that we wanted that person to take on our behalf so these are the lists of names please search on the public register for listed below to verify their current college titles all right so this is just a list of um, people who are immigration consultants but it doesn't give you whether they are in good standing or not so it is up to you to just pick their information and then you just type it into um, the information that i shared earlier on about their status and then you'll be able to find whether they are in a good standing or not so let's just pick uh one of them so i'm just going to pick this and then um i'm going to input it here so that we'll see whether he's in good standing or not so first name so let's just pick this one and let's see This is his first name. So first name. 
um, last name last name so province this particular immigration consultant practice in ontario all right so um let's see whether an information is going to pop up um, no result found so you need to input the rest of the information all right so country province so canada canada here province are you let me search again no result found so alphabetical list of um, so let's go to S and see if something is going to pop up. Yep, so we have names that start with S, C, so status, you see active, active, administrative vocation resign active active so all the active lists you see over here you can just click on contact and then you can be able to contact that person all right so when you click on contact so the contacts of the person is here so this is the city and the problem that the person practice in canada um, company name so we have the company name here let me click on contact again to see whether I will have the exact email address or the telephone number of the company. All right, so we have the email address of the of the of the immigration firm, and then we have the phone number of the immigration firm. So if you are someone who is planning to, you know, move to Quebec, that is Montreal, you can contact this immigration firm, and then you can have a discussion with them to see how best they can um, represent your interest in order to get the visa that you need in order to move to. Um, Quebec. All right. So these are the lists, and then it's a lot. You can just keep clicking on it to see um, if you are going to get an immigration consultant that works in the province in which you really want to move to. All right. So let's click on this one. Let's see. So this immigration firm works in Brampton, it's in Ontario region, and then this is the name of the immigration service um, company, and then when you click here, like we did the first one, you are going to get the email address and the telephone number of that firm, alright, always click on the active status, alright, active status means they are in good standing, and they are open to working with anyone that knocks on their door all right this list only gives you a fair idea of um, the provisions that the person works practice their immigration consultancy so it can give you just a guide um, in order to go directly to all right so we only have the email address of this immigration firm we don't have the phone number all right so you can just email them and then see if they can respond to you on time like i was saying this list can just give you a fair idea of um, which alphabet to choose in order to um, get hold of that particular um, immigration consultant all right so let's say um, we are looking for this guy his first name is uh, Samish. He doesn't have a surname, so we just skip. Um, we the next one is Peter. His first name, and the last name is Abadi. So we are going to this alphabetical list of R R C I C by last name. All right. So um, the last name is Abadi, 
a so we're gonna start with a all right so um, a all right you see so peter abadi so this is peter abadi and then um, his status is active so you can contact him or her this is um, his um, immigration law firm and then you click on contact to get his or her uh, email address and contact details so this is how to look for an immigration consultant who is authorized to give services to people in canada whether you are in canada or out of canada if you also know someone who is in canada who is having some immigration issues you can you know forward this e uh, this video to him or her in order to watch and to see how to get in touch with any of these immigration um, consultants to help them solve their immigration issues for them all right so this um, law firm works in the mississauga uh, it's in ontario province and it's in canada of course and this is the law firm name and then this is their email address and then this is their telephone number all right so you can get in touch with them and then they will be willing to help you at a very professional fee all right this is far better than Agent for now, you use your back home now. Only do sika. They don't give you an update. They don't. They don't respond to your calls. They don't, you know, give you any form of evidence that they are really working on your case. These immigration consultants who are in Canada are under oath and they are working with rules and regulations, and then they will always represent your interest just that you have to make sure that all the documents you provide to them are genuine and they are um, authentic all right they don't play with fake stuff all right unlike your agent back home ah uh, yeah uh, or more yet some kululu maybe in order to you know put certain document in place in order to apply for you in a way no so when you say a genuine person uh, you have to contact them. But only Mr. Wankasano, only a genuine person. Only the documents that requires you to apply for certain um, visas now, don't get in touch with them because they are not going to cook any form of document for you in order to uh, represent you. They don't do that. They are professionals and then they deal in a professional way. All right. So, this is the information I have for you today. If you like it, please um comment and share in the comment section and i'll be more than willing to help you um, in any form of question that you may have if you are also find it difficult in tracing or getting an immigration consultant in any of the provinces you can um, send me a message and then i'll be more than willing to help you to get you know any of the um, immigration consultant firms in canada all right I am not an immigration consultant and I'm not an agent to any of these uh, um, immigration consultants that I just displayed on my screen. All right. Um, I am just sharing the knowledge that I have to you, my followers, for you to make a good use of it. All right. So I'll come again with another um, insightful information should I have one. All right. So uh, please like and share for others to also benefit from this. Let's say no to fake agents. Use always use professional um, immigration consultants that will work in your best interest that you can move to Canada. All right. See you and bye bye.